Nardine, uh, that, was, yes. that was a really important win for you coming off back to back losses, get back in the win column. Just, did you feel any added pressure coming in this fight that you really needed the win? <coughs> um, not really, not really, uh, not really a pressure. Like for sure, a little bit pressure, but the, the pressure was at the right place for me to perform tonight. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, with the outcome. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, happy with the, with the victory. Yeah, and you didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare for this specific opponent. Uh, what did you view in the short window you had to prepare, and how did the fight go compared to your expectations? Uh, yeah, I was uh, ready for uh, a guy who, like an orthodox, uh, who was going forward like a bull. Uh, completely different uh, fighter, so yeah, I had to make some uh, quick adjustments. Uh, so I uh, adopted for the for the switching stance uh, to make him confused and uh, to make him think a lot and uh, to, to to have the proper time to uh, to see the openings and uh, be able to uh, to connect. And once I, I saw it, then I, I seized the opportunity every time I, I saw the weakness, and uh, yeah, that's what happened. So did you play out pretty much how you thought it? Uh, yeah, yeah, we we we, uh, we planned uh, to use my my uh, right leg um, a lot. Uh, yeah, and uh, I did it, I did it, I did it again. Uh, I wanted to I, w I wanted uh, to to finish him, but he was uh, very tough and he toughed it. So yeah, uh, but yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Where does uh, a win over Prepolek put you in the position? Just because with the fact that he made his debut, he's not a huge name and. <laughs> no. No, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not a. It's not a big win for me. Even if he's a, he's a tough fighter and uh, he will prove he will prove it in uh, in the future. And he's a um, he's very like a very good fighter. You know, he's legit. Uh, but yeah, for me at this moment, no, it's not. It's not a huge win. But uh, I had to. I had to win anyway and to put myself back in the in the win streak and. Um, yeah, that's it. So he put me like I think. Uh, yeah, it's it's a win. He kept me active, and uh, yeah, on to the next. Do you think you needed this win to keep your job in the UFC? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, it's like a, you know, I had the two accidental uh, fight. You know what I mean? Um, I call this this way because I, I knew uh, I should have win. But anyway, uh, loss is a loss. But uh, yeah, for sure, it's two loss in a row. Um, we have seen in the past that the UFC doesn't doesn't give. Sometimes uh, to the third chances, you know what I mean. So I think I behaved well with them. I never refused a fight. I'm always, I always show, show up in, in shape. I never swear. Like I think I have a pretty much a good attitude as a fighter. So that's why they they, uh, they like me. And they give me give, give me another opportunity. I'm happy. Nordine, uh, you were just supposed to fight CR. But yes. Now you're fighting Kyle. Was it? Did you feel the crowd was more split since you were you know, facing Canadian instead of kind of finish? Yeah, but it was uh, two Canadians on the on the card facing each other. You know, we're in the territory of Canada. Uh, you know, it's kind of, it's not awkward, you know, fight is fight. But uh, yeah, it would have been very cool that he would be an American and against a, a Canadian, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, uh, it's a fight. I hope uh, we, we put on the performance tonight. Uh, he's a tough kid, uh, two strikers. So I hope, uh, I hope they, they, they like the fight and uh, they will rewatch it. What's next? Do you want to get right back in there? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, now I just have my, my foot a little bit bruised because I over I overdo it some kicks. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I'm healthy, I'm gonna I'm gonna notify at uh, UFC. I'm gonna tell them tell them that I I'm good to go uh, because I'm gonna turn uh, 38 in uh, June. So yeah, I'm not getting any younger. So if I want to leave my mark in the game and. Uh, Climb the stairs into the, the the tops fighters. So yeah, I have to, I have to to move on and, and uh, yeah, having a fight uh, like a quickly. Yeah, I'm very interested on the Abu Dhabi card in the 7th of September. So let's see. We're gonna have a, a talk. Let's see if if the plan fits. Yeah, but I'm definitely up to it. In hey, Nardine, um, obviously one of the interesting things about having a card here in Eastern Canada is you got a lot. Of, you train with Tristar. Uh, yeah, I train. Uh, I've trained with uh, Tagamotai at first. Uh, I did my early camp there, most of my camp, and uh, yeah, I came back, uh, came back in Canada uh, to finish with my uh, head coach and, uh, and the coach I have here, and my, all my partners to finish up, finishing up, and uh, build a strategy. And so, uh, I think I made, uh, I made the right decision because um, I was in Thailand, I threw a lot of kicks, and uh, come back to uh, to Canada, Tristar. I had to make a very quick adjustment with the, you know. It, it took like uh, some very professional to do this, and for us, is the right man to do to do so. 
So yeah, we, we went through the, this uh, struggle and we, uh, we come back with a victory. What's the vibe like when you have so many of your training partners all competing under one roof, one night with seven arms? But honestly, it's, a, it's just a personal view. Uh, I prefer uh, being alone from the gym, uh, fighting on the card. Because, you know, uh, the coaches and the partners, they split it. Uh, into the room, I mean, especially Firas is the main guy. We always want, we all want this, his attention. You know what I mean? And yeah, that's, uh, you see tonight that's his brother is fighting now. So yeah, he has to care just right after me. Then another one, then another one. So yeah, honestly, because I have Firas always in my corner, I prefer having him just for me. You know what I mean? But yeah. Do so. you think your performance would have been even better um, if? The focus was on you and Frost wasn't going to uh, You know, no, Frost gave me the, the proper attention. Uh, uh, no, I don't, I don't think it, I, it would have been better. But it's, it's a very good question. But um, no, in this case, uh, no, it, would have, it, it wouldn't have been better because, uh, yeah, he, he gave me whatever I needed. So I'm very happy with Frost. I was just looking over the statistics for the fight and you really ran away with it in the third. Where did that perhaps second one come from or what change that you were able to so much more commanding about their round. Um, oh, it's the, just it's uh, the command of my coach, of Firas. He said, um, he said, okay, uh, I ju me, I just obey. You know, at some point, you know, you're in the zone, and uh, I just believe in my coach. So he told me, um, I want you to show me uh, your footwork for uh, for one minute and a half, two minutes, and then you start to uh, to fire up. So that's what I did, and he me because he lost two two uh, two rounds in a row, so he wanted to. Know, to do to something happen you know, by pride and me I had to to do some footwork so for sure he was coming forward I was on the footwork I w no intention to strike back so yeah I was pushing back you know on my back and, and then I said okay it's enough now I have to I have to strike because he's you know he's uh, like uh, earning like uh, you know the, the I don't know how to say but uh, yeah you know he was taking over me you know what I mean so yeah I had to man up and uh, okay now finish footwork okay go yeah? Okay, good. Thank you, guys.